Hello, I'm Rex Zeek, co-founder and president of Obon Society, and I have an announcement to make about an upcoming series that I think you might find very interesting. You see, every day of every week, people send Obon Society packages. These boxes and padded envelopes arrive from New York to, to Florida to Kansas to Oregon and everywhere in between. They even come from England and Canada, Australia and New Zealand. And inside each one of these packages is arguably one of the most dynamic examples of human transformation that can be seen anywhere in the world today. Now let me explain, because inside each package is a battlefield souvenir. Some people call them war trophies. And just to give you a little background about that, you see for thousands and thousands of years, the men who have gone to war to fight other tribes or other nations have always picked up items to bring home as souvenirs. They would keep these and proudly display them to prove their conquest and success in battle and they would pass them on down to younger generations, to their children, as proof of their power and success. However, now, for the first time in human history, this is reversing. The families who won the war, the victorious side, is returning to the defeated, their battlefield souvenirs. This has never, ever happened before. No one is asking them to do this. No one is telling them to do this. They are not connected. They don't know of each other. It is just happening. Whether you call it revolutionary or evolutionary, I don't know, but this is a brand new concept in post-war reconciliation. And since Obon Society is in the middle of it, we are the point of contact, we begin to ask why. Why are they doing this? What has changed? Is, is this really a, a, a change in, in, in human culture? Well, what, what, is, what is happening? To get to the bottom of it, we begin to contact families who had sent us items and ask them why. What, what are your feelings? What are your thoughts? And what emerged are extraordinary family histories, histories that have never ever been told, which fortunately we recorded and now have edited down into little three minute video clips. And we're going to share these with you. Soon you'll be able to listen to the daughter of a World War II veteran explain her personal feelings about returning these items. It's bringing tears to my eyes. I can't even imagine it. <laughs> you know, my father came home from that war. He was never the same, but he did come. He came home from that war, and this guy's dad didn't. So soon you'll be able to listen to a Vietnam veteran talking about his father on the battlefields of World War II. I don't know how my dad got it. I don't know if he picked it off of a dead person or something like that, but I guess for him it was a souvenir. You'll be able to hear the daughter of a World War II veteran describe how she felt when we announced to her that we had found the family. Up and down, and my husband said, what's the matter? I was like, oh my gosh, they found him. They found a relative. They're going to be able to return the flag and the medals. So Again, each video clip is short, it's compelling, and deeply personal. We call this series Obon Society Intimate Stories. Every time we have another one ready, we will announce it, and we hope that you will tune in, watch, listen, and learn. From everyone here at Obon Society, I'd like to thank you for your attention. And we look forward to sharing our unique stories with you.